Hi everybody, my name is Ian Lamont and I operate a WordPress uh, site that has a sales function. It sells books and this is using the WooCommerce platform that is kind of an optional thing for WordPress sites and basically people can buy books. They can like let's say they want this book they can hover over it add to cart. It will be added to the cart. That's great. What I want to do here is actually add a discount code. So people buying one of the products here they get a 30% discount, which is a pretty good discount, but I'm going to make some restrictions on it. So it's maybe only during a certain time of the year, or uh, you can only use it once and th that type of thing. And basically it's pretty easy to set up and let's get going. Log into your WordPress site. So this is my WordPress site. You'll see a lot of different stuff on the side here. Um, this is assuming you already have WooCommerce installed. And this is a, this is the basic WooCommerce service, and coupons are part of that. So um, some people say coupons, by the way. I say coupons. Uh, WooCommerce, click on coupons, and you'll be brought to this particular screen. And this shows all of the existing coupons that I already have. Uh, for instance, if you want to uh, get rid of something, you can just edit over it and trash it, or you can or hover over it and trash it, or edit, or you can click this and then do move to trash. But I don't want to do that. I want to create a new one. To create a new one, at the top of the screen, click Add Coupon. Coupon. So the first thing, let's get rid of this. It's really bugging me. Okay. The first thing you'll see is the coupon code. Uh, make a coupon code. Do not put spaces in it. So I'm going to make a 25% discount just for February. So I'm going to call this February. Actually, did I say 30%? Let's just do it 30%. So Feb 30. So if people enter this discount code into the website at the checkout, they'll be able to get a 30% discount. So this is the website where they buy stuff. Here's where I'm creating the coupon code. So generate coupon code. Oh, actually, I made a mistake there. Generate coupon code generates like a random one. And you might use this if, let's say that you're uh, sending, let's say you want to send a certain customer a, a, a unique coupon code that nobody else can get, can guess. You'd use that. I don't want to do that. I'm just going to type Feb oops, 30. Okay. <clears throat> Description. Um, you can write something simple, 30% off in February 2020. Okay. Coupon data under general discount type, fixed cart discount. So that would be $10 off. I don't want that. I want a percentage. I'm going to choose percentage discount, 30. Allow free shipping. I'm not going to do that. I think I already have set up a rule where if a, if a, if a, if the purchase is more than $25, it's free shipping anyways. Coupon expiry date. I do want to set that up. So today is January 31st. I'm going to set it up to expire on February the 29th. Okay. If I wanted to, I could click publish right now in that coupon, FEB30. Whoops. That would be live. But there's a couple other things I want to do. Usage, usage restriction. So here I can do things for the coupon like setting up a minimum spend. I could set up, you have to spend $50. Um, <clears throat> individual use only. This is actually pretty important. Check this box that the coupon cannot be used in conjunction with other coupons. Do that. Because if you don't do that, somebody could take my Feb 30 coupon and then take another coupon. Like let's say that I have a Feb, uh, a Feb 40 coupon. Combine them and they're going to get 70% off. Okay. This is another one, exclude sale items. I like to check that off as well because people are already getting a, a, a discount. So adding 30% to an existing discount, that's like, that, that might be a little bit too big. And, you know, let's remember here that we're running businesses and while you want to help, help your customers and make them feel happy about their purchase and maybe encourage them to buy more, you have to preserve your margins too. And for most businesses, once you get, a, once you get more than 30% off, you know, that's really cutting into your margin quite sharply. And that's why many websites, you seldom see uh, really big discounts. It's because it just would kill their margin. You can also do things like um, 
do it for a certain product. So let's say there's a, I have a book called uh, Acid Reflux and Heartburn in 30 Minutes. I could just make it apply to that book or that book and another book that I have called C. diff in 30 minutes. So I could just make the, the coupon apply to that. I'm not going to do that. You can also do things like excluding products, excluding categories. And then the other last thing I want to check out here is usage limits. Usage per limit per coupon, unlimited usage. This could enable, if you don't do anything here, that could um, enable people to keep on coming back and make purchases, which in some cases that might be good. You want multiple purchases. But in this case, because the discount's already pretty steep, and maybe the marketing for this, I might say, um, limit one per person. So I might just put limit uh, usage limit per coupon as one. Um, actually, that's, I just made a mistake there. This is for the total number of coupons issued. So let's say that I want to issue 100 coupons total. Oops. And then limit usage limit per user. This is where I want to have it, just one. All right, so that's, that's what those limitations will be. And I could also limit it to a certain number of items. Just gonna get everything in there. And then when I'm ready, I can publish it. If I wanted to, I could actually publish it in the future, like just starting in February the 1st. I could set this up to be tomorrow. And let's do this at, you know, 11 minutes past midnight on February the 1st. And then hit schedule. So basically that coupon, Feb 30, that will go live. And then people on this website starting uh, February 1st and going through February the 29th, they'll be able to use that coupon to get a 30% discount. For more information on how to get the most out of your uh, online sales platforms, whether it's Amazon, WordPress, Shopify, or other types of uh, promotions, marketing platforms, sales platforms, go to leanmedia.org. I have free blog posts and lots of videos on the video channel there. Again, leanmedia.org. My name is Ian Lamont. Thank you so much for watching.